Thank you. Notice I even got new music because I asked for it. I don't like to wait on momentum, right? You guys, I was brought on stage early to wake you up, so can you please wake up so I can not use the rest of my 18 minutes waking you up? Yes? Wake up! St. Louis, how are you? Good stuff. All right, shh. Momentum is defined scientifically as the motion of a body. And we're going to say your body. And that motion is equal to the product of the mass and its velocity. Now, I'm going to take away the scientific jargon and just say that what that means is momentum is not actually something we catch. It's not even something we manufacture. Momentum is something that you unleash. It's already in you. And what that means is you don't have to wait around for momentum to find you. You just need to focus on building quality mass, which is your content, your substance, all the awesome stuff you're made with, and you combine that with generating intense velocity, which begins by you discovering your uniqueness, what I like to call your maverick potential. Now, when you build mass, you've got to start from a place of vision. And your vision has to be clear because all things, including momentum, is going to stem from that vision. Now, hopefully you will lose that death grip we all like to have on the idea of how we think our life is going to fold, unfold. And instead, you're going to embrace life and allow it to shape your vision for you. But in the beginning, you have to start with a really clear, tight vision. In my original vision, I was just going to be a classical pianist, and I was only going to play the classics all day on. And I thought that my life would consist of Rachmaninoff from sunup to sundown. And I assumed that my life would sound mostly like this. Thank you. That's what I thought. And you see, if building mass begins with vision, then generating intense velocity is going to come from when you understand the points of relevancy between your vision and the rest of the world around you. It means that if your intention is to build larger, more colorful audiences, you're going to have to create larger, more colorful experiences. As a concert pianist, I had to say I was going to eschew traditional recitals in favor of curating concert adventures. And what that means is you're going to have to ask yourself, like Kristen told us earlier, how am I going to matter to this generation right now? And for other demographics, how am I going to offer something new for them to experience? You're going to have to ask yourself to find a balance between the familiar and the unknown.
Thank you. I want you to hear this. There is great power in the parts of yourself that you cannot change. And when you understand that power, what it means is you're going to stop exhausting yourself trying to come up with something that's original. Because you're going to understand that you are the original. That in you, God himself broke the mold. And when you get that, then you're going to start the process of being able to become a maverick. And when you become a maverick, that starts the process of unleashing momentum. You see, barring the marvels of modern day surgery, I cannot change the fact that I am black or female. And when I understood that, it completely revolutionized things. Because I realized that these two things that I had nothing to do with instantly made me stand out in the field of classical music. And then I understood that as much as I loved classical music in its purest forms, I just couldn't seem to shake this profound love of rhythm. It was the reason I was drawn to Prokofiev, it was the reason I moonlighted in the drum line of the marching band in college. It was the reason I started a percussion and dance ensemble, all while pursuing a classical piano degree. And then, when I got that, things began to change. I started to loosen the grip on my original vision. Because what happened was I did like what Elizabeth said. I went back and talked to old college advisors, talked to my parents, looked over old pictures, and you know what I found? I bet you will find the same thing, evidence of your passion. I found a picture of myself as a little girl sitting shirtless in a diaper on the floor of my living room with a set of African bongos in my lap. And I asked my father, what was I doing in this picture? And he said, Jade, you were playing along to this old African drumming recording called Olatunji, and it hit me. Oh my gosh, there's a reason I'm so obsessed with rhythm. It's because it's been with me since I was a little baby, which means it was literally destined to come back and wreak all sorts of wonderful havoc on that once tight vision I thought I had, or how I thought my life was supposed to play out. And when I got this, it changed everything. The doors began to blow open because I stopped trying to shake this thing, this unique passion of mine for rhythm, and I embraced it and made it my calling card. Everything changed because now I didn't just look wildly different from the people who were doing the same thing I said I wanted to do. I started to look like somebody who was doing stuff that nobody else was doing. I was becoming a maverick and beginning the process of unleashing momentum. Thank you. There is 
incredible momentum waiting to be unleashed when you become the most inimitable version of yourself possible. That means that you've now taken this incredible mass and all this amazing velocity that comes from your originality, and you found a way to bring it all together, to use it in combination all at once. You're no longer compartmentalizing your brilliance. And when you do that, you're actually operating in the original definition of momentum, which simply means moving power. Because you've got all of your resources in one place, you're no longer settling for just impressing people with how fast and loud you play. You're now demanding of yourself that you begin to move people. And once you move people, you're operating full of purpose. Because now all your God-given resources, talents, unique skill sets are being used on purpose. They're actually being used in a way that makes you matter more than you were supposed to. It makes you matter how you were created to matter. And when you begin to matter how you were created to matter, you are now unleashing incredible momentum. I'm going to end with a piece of music that is the absolute culmination of every single thing I know how to do right now today. And this piece will take you from Beethoven all the way to, well, I'll just let you see. Here it is. years old looking for my way in thought I'd enter a competition I'd play Beethoven they would fool when I hit the keys real fast really they was worried that their precious Steinway wouldn't last I won it all had the trophy in my right hand on my left was a seersucker old man he looked me dead in my cute little black face told me with a smile I was a credit to my black race I was worried for Jack, 
Train.